Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with my friend one more time. Introduce yourself, sir. I'm Aiden. And Aiden, you recently did what, man? I got second place at the case tournament in New Orleans. Most definitely. Before we get started with the deck profiles, are there any shout outs or anything you want to say, dude? All right. And what were you playing, bro? I'm playing Snake Eye Five. Most definitely. Let's get into it then. Right. Sorry. Snake Eye stuff. Three Snake Eye Ash. Two Poplars. Oak. Two Flamberge. You don't need the second one all the time. It's sometimes you side it out. The rest of it's pretty mandatory. Three bonfires, just consistency. Get to get to do one card, so one card combos. Played three witch, two once in. I just didn't have the third once in. If you have a third one, play it. Absolutely, way better than witch. You can cut the third witch. You can cut like another like random like hand trap or something. If you have three one, it's play the third one. And then the one original. Have to play it. One temple. I like the temple because it lets you play through nib for free. You just set, you set your oak and just do your combo normally. If they nib you, you have your princess to get your normal on board anyway. You got a Fire King, one Garunix, three Karen, Arvada, and Ponix. It's pretty normal. Some people play the extra Barong. It's like, okay. At least sometimes you do not do only have like no, no good target for this. You end up like pitching the Ponix or something. And it's like, oh, like fine. But it's not great. And then one, the one sanctuary, the one island. Search targets for Ponix, gets you the whole engine. Searches Gurunix, turns everything on. Generates a bunch of material. This one. Have a look at it. Yeah. Hell yeah. And hand traps. We played three nib, three droll. Three ash, it's a very deck. and then yeah. one Valor and one and one Imperm, because we're on. Cross our call by to play how, through. How good was this like package over weekend? Um, one it resolved. It's great. Go <laughs> 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 <No> figure. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. You're dealing with like 15, 18 hand, hand, hand trap main decks every game, so you gotta, you gotta like do everything you can to push stuff through. Gotcha. And that was forty, correct? Yeah, exactly All right. forty. All right, let's go check out the extra deck, then, bro. All right. Extra. One Grunis Attorney. Some people pull this. Those people are crazy. This is an extra an extra interruption at the end of your end board. Just, they have to burn through so much to chew through. If you're Kieran Pop, your Arvada and Gate, your Princess Pop, and Low Pop, all this. And this is just extra at the end. Most of the time, if you get to keep the Sanctuary, they just can't play through this. I think Rebo. This enables all your a lot of your one card combos. Lets you make SP with uh, the banish equip like very, very 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 easily. Card probably gets banned soon. Realistically, <laughs> uh, IP SP. This is like one of your first interactions your opponent's turn. You make this in your combo on the way to Princess and uh, set it to your back row Flamberge. Special it out. First interaction SP before you fire lock yourself with Princess. Uh, Sunlight Wolf. This, this is part of the uh, player on nib combo with the, the, with the Oak. This, it just lets you keep keep adding cards back, going plus while your opponent sits on their nib. And th once this hits the board, they pretty much have to nib you, or you only go plus until you make Apo and they can't do it anymore. Uh, Hita. If they ash you, it's an ex it just turns any two monsters into princess. <laughs> makes Ash kind of have to play it, but uh, it makes it kind of rough and dark as well. Because sometimes you need to make a link to, and Link Rebo is dark. This like kind of condenses the generic and the useful card into one slot. But I did play one extra generic link too. I played the Nightmare Unicorn. Mm. It outs. It's a fire. So you can make it under Princess, and it'll always be co-linked when you make it under Princess. So you get, you get to draw the cards. Outs a, lot, a bunch of random floodgates, outs like random problems like King Sark before you get to deal with the board, stuff like that. Heat Soul, this is part of the, the anti-nib line. The reason you keep going plus, but then they have to just nib you on the, uh, the Sunlight Wolf. Because you'll just make this. Just draw a card and then make the Apo. Two Princess, you do need the second one. Especially in in the pure version, especially you need the second one. But even in this one, like having two, just comes up so often, like over and over. Like people go out of their way to deal with the first princess, and it's like if when you you drop the second one, it's like they need an, an immediate response, or like it's just over. And Link Force, we play Amblo Whale, play Appaloosa, play Phoenix, play. This is the you normally end on one of these two. This Apo just negates. 
this is the way you play around Nib. And Amblo is the best target, to, one of the best targets to pop off of your uh, Princess Fact and Grave. So you go just bring back your Heat Soul, and you get to draw another card, keep playing on your opponent's turn as well. And this is for the OTK line. Like, you make this, you just make this, because it's also the next best generic Fire Link for. So when you have Princess, you can only make fires. Yeah. So you have to make this first, link it off to the Zelantis, and then you, all you have to do is find a way to pop a card, and you get a big Phoenix on board. And just punch your opponent with that. That's 15. Okay. Um, you want to go to the side or no? All right. We got the second and third imp, second and third imperms, second and third veilers. Some of the best hand traps. But I just didn't have space to fit them with the cross out call by package, and I had to. I had to cut something. Yeah. And rest. Three crow. Three bell. These didn't come up much. I can see like. It's pretty good in the lab. Like, but both, both of these come in against lab. It's getting roll like the rollback targets are scary. You can just kick out the rollback target and for big welcome, obviously. Are you special somehow? And three tactics. These always come in going first because you know you you can pretty much always play. It's a matter of how much can you play through. And this lets you either rip the second hand trap out their hand or just keep playing after they hand trap you once. And I had two two random slots. I didn't really know what to put in, so I just threw in two dark rulers just in case I played against against some like balls to the wall combo deck. It's like hey, I should probably have it there. It's something to do, something to respect that a little bit, but not like these never came in all day. Most definitely. Well, look, Hayden. Thank you for finishing uh, for showing the deck profile. Congratulations on finishing second place um, at the box tournament, well, the case tournament down in New Orleans. Uh, go ahead and include your past deck profiles. Links in the description. Until next time, guys. Remember, comment, subscribe. Peace.